Welcome everyone. In this video, we will do an example for nested lists. Nested lists are those lists which have list as their elements, means list inside a list. We will also see how we can remove duplicate elements from a list. So let's see our uh, task first. Given the names and grades for each student in a physics class of n students, store them in a nested list and print the name of any students having the second lowest grade. Note, there is a note if there are multiple students with the same grade, order their names alphabetically and print each name on a new line. So there is a sample input. Uh, first uh, it is a number of students, then we have entered names and marks of 5 students. The output is showing two names. It means two names have the second lowest grade. As we can see, Harry and Barry has same names and it is the second lowest grade in all these grades. So let's see how we can code this problem. So first we will take inputs from user. So I will use list comprehension technique to get all the inputs from the user so I will start with the list variable and then I need to use list comprehension so I will start the statement with the square brackets then inside this these square brackets I will put another square bracket we want to create this as a nested list so the first input will be name so it will be input first input it will be at string field so we do not need to provide the type casting and then the second input in this list sub list will be input and this input will store marks so it will be a float type so I am type casting it to float and then I will set my loop for And then underscore because we do not need to use the index in range and here I need to provide the number of students so I will replace this number of students with another input and I will typecast this to integer I need another bracket okay now we're good so in a list comprehension this will be the first element which will be executed so the system will ask for number of student first then it will ask for the name and then for the marks and then name then marks uh, inside the loop If we want to create it with a longer method, then we can start with n is equal to integer input. And then 4 in range n. And then input name input marks float input and then I need to make a empty list dot append and then inside this list I will put name or if I want to stretch it a little longer then I will choose an temporary list for this sub list and then I will provide this temporary list in this so this one line and this whole block of code will do the same thing it is for the better understanding 
it is the longer method this one and this is the list comprehension method so i will delete this one and i will keep only this one after this statement our nested list will be created and we will have a list of uh, student with marks list of a student with marks okay so the next thing we want to do is we need to find the second lowest marks in this uh, list so i will do the list comprehension one more time i will use uh, this for i in this list and then i will use the element i one because we know that in the second index oh, sorry index one is the marks and index zero is the name so i'm putting this loop in this list and then get fetching the second element from each element so so i will show you in the example how this works i will create a temporary list with sub list like manish and marks 45 and marks 40 it is a temporary uh, nested list okay and then i will copy this code and paste it and you can see the result temp so it is fetching the marks of the list and then i will convert this list to a set a set data type is same as the set in mathematics so it cannot store duplicate values so it will remove all the duplicate values then again we will convert this set into a list and now we have a list of all the unique elements and then i will transfer the data of this list into mark set so this is the method uh, to remove duplicates item from a list i will show you in an example let's see 1123 and 5 and let's say a is equal to this and then a i a list sorry list in set a and print a you can see that all the duplicate elements are removed and only the unique values are left so it is a method to remove duplicate values from a list by converting it to a set first and then again to a list and the next task is we will sort this list mark set dot sort now the list will be sorted in ascending order so it means in the second element of this list is the second lowest marks in the list so we'll say target it is our target so we'll say mark set it is our second lowest value and then we will put a uh, for loop in lst if target is equal to i1 sorry yeah i1 then i need to do one more thing i need to initialize a uh, an empty list so the result it will i will append the name of the candidate here it will create a list of an L, uh, list of a student's name who has the second lowest marks so 
again i will sort this list so sorry i will explain what i just did here so at this point i got the second lowest value of the marks so the next thing i need to do is find the candidate's name who has the same number of marks so i put a for loop here and i am checking each candidate one by one if they have the same marks because uh, in this for loop i have provided lst as uh, an iterable so after each iteration i will be changed to the next element of the list i will show you in this let's see uh, we have created this temple list temp nested list so let's see how this works in temp and print i i will print i as you can see it is assigning each element each list to i after each iteration and now the i is a list and it is holding the marks at index 1 and uh, holding the name at index 0 so i can verify the marks with the my target value and then if it is true i will append this name to the result list i am using list because there may be multiple candidates with the same name so all the names with the with the second lowest marks will be stored in this list and the next thing we need to do if there are multiple students with the same grade order their name alphabetically and print each name on a new line so we will order them uh, in alphabetical order so i will use sort and then it will be arranged in alphabetical order and we need to print this so for in range sorry i need to put i here because we will be using index we can provide the result directly and then print i so our program is completed we will execute this program okay it's showing an syntax error invalid syntax where here okay we need to provide the square bracket here and I then remove the square bracket from here and i think it is good now yeah it is running fine so i have copied the list of entries let's see if this works no it is so i need to provide it is not working so i need to provide each element one by one so i will ag again execute this and say 3 manish 45 Eighty, sixty. So, ninety. As we can see, the result is small. So we have seen how we can create a nested list using list comprehension. we have seen how we can remove uh, duplicate element from a list and we have found the second lowest marks in a nested list and printed the results so this is all for this video thanks for watching